The Mariana Trench is the deepest oceanic trench on the planet, with its lowest point known as the Challenger Deep, which has a depth of more than 36,000 feet. Various manned and unmanned dives to the trench have continuously tried to discover more about what lurks underwater. Some creatures in the ocean may be incredible, but it's undeniable that there are many bizarre and monstrous creatures in the abyss, from the small but terrible deep-sea dragonfish to the elusive big fin squid. Here are 15 super scary creatures found in the Mariana Trench that you might not have even heard of before. Number 15. Deep Sea Dragonfish You might think it's a bullet or just a piece of plastic, but what you're looking at is the deep sea dragonfish. These small but devious predators lurk in the ocean's depths from 740 to 4,500 feet below sea level. They might sound terrifying, but they only grow between 6 to 10 inches long, so they're not exactly as intimidating as they sound. However, regardless of its small size, it's still a great predator with its long teeth and equally long patience. These creatures are known to stay still for a very long time, waiting for the right opportunity to strike or for prey to pass by. To help them attract prey at the bottom of the ocean, dragonfish have lures attached to their chins that light up. This light is both their strength and weakness. They can attract prey using these lures, but they can also inadvertently attract predators. For this reason, the dragonfish use their lure wisely, because otherwise they'll end up getting eaten while using their own traps. Looking at them up close makes them seem as if they're really otherworldly creatures. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Holothurian Holothurian, or sea cucumbers, are perhaps one of the creatures with the weirdest anatomy in the ocean. Just as their name implies, these creatures look like cucumbers with their elongated bodies, which can span from as small as 0.75 inches to a staggering 6.5 feet. Some of these creatures live in the shallow parts of the ocean, but some of them prefer to live in the deepest, darkest waters. They spend their time feeding on tiny particles like algae, and after they eat, this is where they exhibit their weird anatomy. It's hard to imagine, but sea cucumbers breathe through the same opening where they excrete their bodily wastes. Basically, their respiratory tree is connected to their anus. Despite their bizarre features, sea cucumbers play a massive role in the ocean. Just like how earthworms make the soil healthy, sea cucumbers play an important role in cycling the nutrients throughout the ocean. Oh, and these guys can also projectile vomit their organs if they ever feel threatened. So that's another reason why they're considered the weird ones. It serves as their defense mechanism, and if they do end up expelling their internal organs, they can easily regenerate within days or weeks. Their way of protecting themselves is a little bit weird, but hey, they're one of the backbones of maintaining the ocean's ecosystem, so they're pretty amazing creatures. Number 13. Supergiant Amphipod There are creatures like amphipods in shallow waters, but these deep-dwelling creatures are up to 20 times larger than their shallow-dwelling relatives, as these amphipods can grow up to 30 centimeters long. Because of their bug-like appearance, they're sometimes called the insects of the sea, which I think is a very fitting name. Looking at these creatures will make you think of a cockroach, a mite, or another similar insect. I guess it's true that the deeper you go into the ocean, the larger and weirder the creatures get. According to some researchers that manage to touch these creatures, they feel like plastic and they have a waxy texture to them. I think it's a good thing that they choose to stay deep within the ocean. I don't think anyone would ever want to encounter them while diving. One good thing about them is that if you do end up seeing one of them up close, these creatures don't have any interest in harming you. They may be mostly omnivores, but they only eat bacteria, algae, fungi, as well as plant and animal remains they find in the ocean. Number 12. Predatory Tunicate the predatory tunicate is also known as the ghost fish, and their name is very befitting of their appearance and behavior. Tunicates are usually filter feeders that consume plankton, but the predatory tunicate is quite different. These creatures have adapted to life as ambush predators. While anchoring themselves to the sea floor, they're like underwater Venus flytraps that wait with their mouth-like hood wide open until a small animal drifts inside. Just like the Venus flytrap, their hoods will stay closed until they're ready to consume another prey again. If they were bigger, they would probably be more terrifying. But seeing as they only grow up to 5 inches across, there's really nothing to worry about because they can't harm human beings. 
On the contrary, tunicates are actually distant relatives of all animals with a notochord, which includes us human beings. As weird as they are, these creatures are found with several anti-tumor compounds in their tissues, which means they might be our lifesavers in the future. Number 11. Ghostly Snailfish In 2014, scientists discovered this bizarre fish lurking in the coldest and darkest parts of the Mariana Trench. This fish is thriving around 26,700 feet below the ocean where light doesn't even reach. Despite having the word snail in their name, the ghostly snailfish looks more like a tadpole with a huge head than an actual snail. They have small eyes, no scales, and they can grow just slightly longer than a human hand. The snailfish is known as the deepest dwelling fish on the planet, which rivals even the well-known blobfish. It's quite mesmerizing to see them with their smooth, gelatinous bodies, translucent skin, and phantom-like movements. These ghostly creatures are extremely hard to observe and study. Their bodies are built in a way that helps them endure the extreme cold and pressure underwater, and if they're pulled towards the surface, these creatures will quickly melt. They cannot handle not having the pressure of the deep. Several voyages and expeditions have been launched just to study these creatures up close, and it's truly amazing to see these creatures alive in their natural habitat and interacting with other species. These guys almost look unreal. Number 10. Frilled Shark Prehistoric looking and nightmarish. This is the frilled shark, and they're just one of the two weirdest sharks that we'll feature in this video. So make sure to stay until the end to see the equally bizarre and horrifying shark we'll talk about later. The frilled shark is a creature known as a living fossil because over the years, it changed so little since prehistoric times. Seeing how they live in the deepest parts of the ocean, it's not surprising to see that they're stuck in their dinosaur-like forms. These creatures are rarely seen by humans, and if they're ever found, they'll most likely not survive on the surface. These sharks got their name because of their gills. Unlike the great white and their other shallow-dwelling kin, the frilled shark has a pair of gills that go all the way across its throat, with each one lined with red fringe. These creatures were discovered in the 19th century, and upon seeing them for the first time, many mistook them for sea snakes or sea serpents because of their serpent-like bodies. They may look like an eel, and their movements may also resemble one, but these creatures are massive sharks. Just like most creatures in the deep sea, they grow to be massive, up to a staggering length of seven feet. Frilled sharks are skilled predators, and they can fiercely lunge at any potential prey and swallow it whole, even if the prey is quite large. However, they're rarely encountered in the wild, so even today very little is known about them. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll be able to find a way to survive in the crushing pressure at the depths of the deep ocean and observe these amazing creatures up close. Because frilled sharks are so rarely seen, we have no idea how many of them still remain out there. There could be thousands of them or just hundreds of them left. Hopefully, they'll still survive the years to come. Number 9. Grenadier Unlike their terrifying name, the grenadier or the rat tail is not really menacing compared to the other animals in this video, that is. These creatures can be as short as 3.9 inches or grow up to a staggering 6.9 feet. Grenadiers are also known as rat tails because of their tails, which are considerably thinner than their bodies. Grenadiers have evolved to survive in the dark depths of the ocean where food is scarce, the temperatures freezing, and the pressure immense. To find food underwater, rat tails use their barbells under their chin. These creatures will swim near the sea floor where their barbells will indicate any prey that's nearby. Abyssal grenadiers are known to eat a variety of prey underwater. After all, they can't really be picky considering the very small pool of food options they have. They will eat invertebrates, crustaceans, and sea cucumbers while they're young, and as they grow older, they can feed on sea urchins, larger fish, and cephalopods. There is still a huge gap in our records of these creatures. Even today, we still don't know about their early life and how they reproduce. It's generally believed that the abyssal grenadier's eggs float towards the surface and develop in the shallower parts of the ocean. Once they develop and turn into juveniles, they can choose to return to the abyss and survive until they grow into adults. Number 8. Barrel Eye Fish This fish isn't the product of a failed experiment. This creature just learned to adapt to the harsh environment of the trench. This is the Pacific Barrel Eye Fish, and it's known for its barrel-shaped eyes and see-through head. Barrel eyes were first recorded in 1939, and for a long time, researchers thought that these poor animals are not able to move their eyes. 
Imagine a life where you have to physically move your body just so your eyes can see. Sounds pretty hard. But in 2009, researchers found out that barrel eyes can in fact move their eyes around. It's just that they prefer to look upwards most of the time because they usually get their prey from the stingers of jellyfish swimming on top of them. They don't have to worry about getting hurt by the nasty stingers because as weird as they look, their transparent heads are there to protect them. If they're not planning to snatch away the meal of another fish, they usually direct their eyes forward. But most of the time, these barrel eyes lay motionless on the sea floor just waiting for the unfortunate victim to steal from. Despite their ghostly appearance, these creatures are pretty easygoing. Number 7. Chimera There's nothing more alien looking than the chimera fish. Just from its name, you can tell that it's no ordinary fish. The chimera is a bizarre looking fish that has a network of lines on the surface of its skin, which makes it look as if it's not of this world. A chimera usually has a big head, large eyes, and a huge snout in front of it. These creatures are distantly related to sharks, but most of them have unique characteristics. Today, there are 48 species known of these creatures, but most of them have not been studied. Not much is known about their lifestyle or reproductive habits. They're usually brown, gray, or white in color, and have a smooth, scaleless exterior. They're known to live up to 30 years, with some of them growing up to 5 feet long. It's also no wonder why these creatures look different from most modern sea creatures. They're part of a subclass that is over 420 million years old. Number 6. Xenophyophore Meet the Xenophyophore. They may look like a piece of coral, but these creatures are actually giant deep-sea amoebas that live together in their self-built houses called tests. They're found at incredible depths of 1,600 to 34,800 feet. Their name literally translates to the bearer of foreign bodies in Greek, as these refer to the sediments they collect to create their tests. Their tests can be as big as a foot across, but they can also be only several inches big. The Xenophyophore gave researchers an incredibly hard time in trying to classify them. They have changed their classes several times throughout the years, and still today these creatures are still being studied. Very little is known about them that even until today, we don't even know what they eat. Initial studies say that they are likely detritivores that feed on dead and decomposing organic matter. Number 5. Blobfish This is perhaps the most famous creature on this list. If you haven't already, meet the famous blobfish. This creature is arguably the most pitiful and most misunderstood creature in the world. You probably have already seen the picture of the so-called blobfish. They are immediately called the ugliest creature on the planet with their small eyes and saggy skin. It has a huge nose, a downturned lip, and some tiny fins, which makes the creature look hideous and monstrous. However, did you know that the famous blobfish picture that went viral online isn't its original appearance? You can even say that the blobfish is a bit cute. This is its real appearance, underwater. First of all, let's address this fish with its proper name, Cycrolutes marchitis. These creatures can be found between 2,000 to 4,000 feet underwater which of course is part of the ocean that you can't reach without an intense submarine. Just as how we can't endure the conditions in waters that deep, most deep sea fish won't be able to survive here on the surface. After all, their bodies are created to withstand the cold and crushing pressure of the deep sea. And so, if you pull them to the surface, their bladders may expand. There is also a risk that their insides will be pushed through their mouth, which of course, kills them. While the blobfish doesn't have a swim bladder to cause its insides to spill out, they also don't have a skeleton, and they hardly have any muscle, which makes them look like sad, saggy, and droopy creatures after being pulled to the surface. Sadly, as famous as they are for being the world's most terrible-looking fish, little is known about them. So maybe let's not judge them for being ugly-looking here on the surface. After all, we ourselves won't be able to survive in their habitat. And now it's time for today's topic. Take a look at this photo. This appears to be a massive fish with a mouth that can easily swallow a human being. This reminds me of the megalodon that went extinct many years ago. However, there are still some theories saying that perhaps the giant predator still roams our oceans to this day. It seems that most deep sea creatures are often bigger than their shallow water dwelling relatives. Usually, creatures that live in the deepest and coldest parts of the ocean are 2 to 20 times larger than the sea creatures found in shallow water. This phenomenon is called deep-sea gigantism. For instance, 
The colossal squid is known to be 14 times longer than the ones found near the surface. To this day, we still don't know what causes this to happen. Researchers claim that deep-sea gigantism is caused by the need for survival. It can also be caused by the extremely cold waters or other unknown factors. One thing is for sure, the deepest part of the ocean is filled with creatures that we have never seen before. It's no wonder that the creatures they capture in the Mariana Trench continue to surprise the whole world. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Terrible Claw Lobster This is the Terrible Claw Lobster, and it's not called terrible because of its hideous appearance. Rather, it's for its terribly amazing claws. These creatures might be intimidating because of their claws, but this brightly colored crustacean's body is a mere 31 millimeters long. Even if it was larger, you still don't have to worry because they're completely blind. Even still, they do wield long-toothed claws which makes them a formidable predator in the ocean. They may look like underwater Jack the Rippers, and that might be true. These creatures live down far under after all and we still have a long way to go before we can truly understand and study these creatures. Number 3. Giant Larvation Deep below the sea surface is the Giant Larvation. These creatures are deep-sea architects that secrete snotty blobs from their cells to create their mucus-like shelter. The Larvation is a tadpole-like creature that builds its own shelter that looks like a tiny parachute. They use these houses not only to protect themselves, but also to feed. The larvation will pump seawater through its house to filter out coarse and fine particles. Once the house is clogged, they'll discard the houses and create a new one. Basically, they're grade-A deep-sea architects that continuously construct filters. What's more interesting about these creatures is that their feeding habits contribute to the carbon cycle in the ocean. Just like the sea cucumbers I showed you guys earlier, the giant larvation also has a huge role in the ocean's ecosystem. Number 2. Goblin Shark big, scary, and mysterious. This is the goblin shark. This creature comes from the Mitsukuranide family, which dates back over 125 million years. These creatures got their name because of their terrifying appearance, which resembles a goblin pictured in Japanese mythology. They have pink skin and a very distinct, or should I say weird, appearance. They have a long, flattened snout, protruding jaws, and teeth that resemble nails. Their upper jaw has about 35 to 55 rows of teeth, and their lower jaw is equipped with 39 to 62 rows of teeth. Yikes! They usually look normal when they're not feeding, but if prey swims by, they can extend their mouths to fully trap them. Just take a look at how they feed. They're pretty terrifying to say the least. These creatures can live from 30 to 35 years, and they can grow anywhere from 10 to a staggering 20 feet. Just imagine how terrifying a 20-foot goblin shark would be. If it's that size, it can probably consume people if they want to. Luckily, we're not really on their favorites menu, and they prefer to snack on fish in the deep sea like rat tails and dragonfish, both of which I talked about earlier. They also like to eat cephalopods and crustaceans. These creatures are also known to be extremely slow creatures. They have small fins, which means they're quite sluggish, so if they magically end up near the surface of the water, it'd be quite easy to escape from them. Their snout might not be a pleasing thing to look at, but for them, it serves a very important purpose. The goblin shark's snout contains sensory nerves that can sense electric fields produced by other creatures nearby. It kind of works like an antenna that can easily track down snacks. What's weirder is that goblin sharks are known to decrease in length proportionally with age, so the old ones usually revert to being shorter. Luckily, you don't need to worry about them because they're known to only survive in depths between 900 and 3,150 feet. However, some of them do end up getting caught in some deep sea fishing nets. Number 1. Big Fin Squid It's been less than 30 years since these creatures have been officially described by scientists. These creatures stayed hidden in the abyss until they were spotted by deep sea cameras. These creatures are widely distributed throughout the world's waters and can reside up to a staggering 15,000 feet below the ocean. The bodies of big fin squids are nothing impressive. However, their large fins and long appendages make them showstoppers. Their entire body can measure up to a whopping 20 feet in length, with the majority of it being their long arms and tentacles. Unlike the giant squid, the big fin, or the magna pinna squid, is mostly arms and tentacles. 
These creatures only feed on fish and crustaceans with their small beaks. They might be humongous in size, but they can't do much to larger creatures like humans. Still, its appearance is pretty intimidating. Which of these creatures is your favorite? And do you know any other interesting deep sea creatures? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.